Hey everyone, Espionage here. Um, today we're gonna go over the Disney Train and Station Lego set 71044. Um, this one, you know, it actually was released a few years back, uh, so it's not actually in print anymore. Um, I think it's going for new, maybe like $600 or so on the eBay or whatever, and then the used ones maybe like 400 So if you're curious, looking into this, possibly to get just because you know it's tough to find now um, I want to give you this review um, so here's a box right it comes with like the the train but also the big station right and so we'll go through all of that let me um, it's already built so I will share with you guys what it looks like here so let's first go over the train station itself so the train station is not the greatest right I mean right now it is it's, a, it's built like this, but it's not a modular, right? So it has a front. It looks nice from the front. Um, it looks nice from the front, right? There's like five characters it comes with, but the back is not closed off. So if you take a look at it, I mean, there's some pretty cool details, you know, Disney things, but it has a tough spot you know sitting anywhere like in a module or city right because it's not it's not closed off it doesn't connect doesn't do anything so but this is part of you know what you're buying for this ex i guess i can call it an expensive set now right is is this build okay so now let's talk about the train so this train here i have this thing set up so the train itself is really nice though right i mean it's a it's a four car train first first car just the engine looks nice from the front like a really nice looking train um, the second one has a uh, is where the the battery pack is held you just pull it up put in the batteries and then tuck it away here so this is pretty much how you're going to connect to it the third car is a passenger car Ooh, this part broke off the third car is a passenger car and um, it is where you can sit lots of minifigures only the the front and the back uh, open up the middle part does not open up but there's several seats here so you know you can you know, fit some of these little guys in here they can go on the ride Goofy's coming on the ride. Dale's going on the ride. I'll make sure you get a seat in there. Okay, so then you can close this off. And then the last car. The last car is a closed car, and it's it's kind of tough. It, you know, when you build it, you, I didn't know that you could actually like it doesn't open. Right? You actually have to pull it off. So there's like two parts here that are connected. You actually have to pull off the whole door. Um, and then stick it back on. So if someone wants to sit in here, there's not even like, I guess, real chairs. Um, but Chip, you're gonna, can you really sit in here? It's a, it's a smooth cushion, but maybe that works. And then close it off here. All right, so now I think we're, look, oh, I forgot to mention that here, the front the, the front engine, this part opens up as well, right? So if it opens up, we can have Mickey ride in the front. So he is uh -oh. he's driving the train. Okay, is he in? No. It is a little bit tough to stick it in there. Actually, it's probably easier if I do just pick it up and stick them on like this. Okay, so he's in, and um, you'll see there's like there's pretty much magnets that interconnect between the different uh, engines. So you can actually put them in different order, right? Like you see here, this is sort of like snapping in. Um, if I decide, well, this one should always probably come second because it's going to be what powers and gets things moving, right? And then you I have the engine up front. So you can always switch these two. Like if you decide, I, I just want, I want to put this car up here. All right, I'm gonna put this one in the back. 
the dining car or whatever, the closed car, and then this one here. Actually, so there you go. So now it reconnects and it moves along. So how do we power this thing, right? Um, much to, I think, several people's dismay, maybe including my own, is when this train station was eventually released, I think a few years back, um, they switched to the Powered Up app. So this doesn't have its own controls or anything. Like you can't just like flip a switch and, hey, train, go. No, it's got to go through um, your smartphone or, 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 you know, tablet, a device. So I'll show you that now. Um, first off, you got to download something called Lego Powered Up. So that's a free app. And when we turn, when we, let me see if I can bring you back. When you load in, it's basically right like all of the the apps that are currently supported or all the, the Lego sets that are currently supported with this Powered Up app. It looks like several trains as well as, you know, um, piano, etc. So we're going to do the Lego Disney train, right? And so you can pick either regular or like a winter motif. I can show you both. So here's... This is the um, app, so you gotta do the Bluetooth connection right here. It's looking for it. So you gotta go here to the train. You gotta push this button, and then it's gonna look for it, right? That light up means it's connecting. Okay, check mark means it's on. So the way you you do the train is you actually have to do it through the app, right? So if I push plus, it's gonna go at the slower speed, right? And then if I do a little bit further, oh, looks like it may have gotten a little stuck. Slow it down. All right, it's coming around. I think it didn't like, perhaps one of the, the gears didn't stick well. Let me see. Uh -oh. I hear it, but it is not coming around. So let me see, where did it get stuck at? What is happening? You can hear it clearly moving. Uh, push stop. Oh, let's see. I'll try switching back to the other passenger. So the thing is, this thing, this what it's pulling is actually really heavy. So I'm gonna make sure these wheels are on the track. And uh, let's see if it's better this time around. Give it a little bit more power. It's slowing down though. It might be a tough turn. Let's see. Is it getting caught somewhere? Let me pull this part off. Oh, the front, the front cab, the front engine is not on properly. So sometimes this part here is a little. It actually broke off too. So let me see if I can, if the front wheel tire wheels of the train are not on properly, then it won't go easily. Is this stuck again? Oh, sorry. Looks like we got some traffic from the Marvel characters. Okay, so let's see if it's, it's doing it now. Um, let me stop it. Yeah, so what I think what I'm noticing here is this little wheel. One of the wheels is not on it properly. So you gotta make sure everything is on the track so we can can turn. Alright. And then this you gotta make sure you pick up properly so it doesn't break. And let's see if we can get it to work out better this time. All right, so is everything turning here? Like this magnet is like barely holding on to you. So let's see, okay. Make sure all these, all these wheels can turn, right? Like if you see down here, they can turn left and right. So we wanna make sure that everything is on the track so that way when it can turn it's good to go like this one's good now we're gonna make sure the next one is good too 
All right, I think this one's in because of the curves in the track. Is this good? All right, let's see. All right, maybe this is good. Let's let's test it. Let's see. All right, this is the slowest speed. Go a little faster, a little more power. All right, it's coming along. And this time, it's coming along a little bit smoother. Okay, all right, so it completed the lap successfully. So let's make it, it can go even faster, right? Pushing up, bring up the speed. Well, I, don't, I don't know if I want to go too fast because it might fly off the, the curve. All right, faster. This is fast. All right, slow down, please. Don't fall off on the turn. I'll speed it up once you are around. All right, let's have, this is the fastest speed. All right, slow down, slow down on the turn. Okay, so you get an idea, right? I mean, basically you control it through here. It's going, this is going normal speed. Speed things up. All right, I'm gonna slow down. So there's some other like little features that come with it, like when you're doing this thing. So you can push, you can have some music, Music? Where's the music? Oh, let me see if it, is there volume on this thing? I think, yeah, it's funny, right? You push this button like to make the, so this one down here, you can hear the train, but it's coming out of your tablet or phone, right? It's not coming out of the train itself. It's coming out of the tablet. So then I push this, the train, train whistle. It's coming out of the tablet, not the train. Bell. You can just keep pushing it, but it's on the tablet. This is no music and music. So this is the train. Now, I'll show you the other, um, let's look at this other one. If I do the winter wonderland, so same idea, but it's in the snow. It's, it does the same stuff, right? But then there's, I guess, this music is supposed to be some sort of like wintry music. Oh, slow down. And I think it can it go in reverse. Yeah, look, it can go in reverse too. If you push, if you push negative, negative, it's going in reverse. And stop is in the middle, positive. So you can pick the direction you want it to go. All right, stop here. Okay, so that. It took a little bit of getting things set up for this thing to work. So some drawbacks though, right? So think about if you were deciding to buy a train set or, or even this one. Um, first off, this like this thing takes six AAA batteries, right? So I'm gonna pull this off. Um, I'm using uh, Samsung Onloops, like AAAs. And, you know, I use these rechargeable ones because I can just keep reusing them. I think, I can only play with this thing for maybe like 15 minutes of it going around before the battery runs out. Like this is not something that lasts a long time at all. So I, I mean, I guess I can understand it's pulling a lot of weight with the train. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you expect, oh, I can probably set this thing up, have the kids play with it for like an hour myself, that's not going to happen, right? I mean, apparently maybe like much higher capacity charge battery, you might get a little bit more time, but I was a little bit disappointed with that for sure. Um, what else? So now the tracks, right? Like if you want to set up tracks around like, you know, your Lego city or town or whatever, the box itself, it comes with a certain amount, amount of these tracks. Like, um, I think it's, it's limited though. So let me see if I can pull it up here again, the box. So you guys can see on the side, it'll show you. So I think, where does it show it? Oh, it shows it right here. Um, let me back up a bit so you can see this. So it has four straight and 16 curvature, right? So in many reviews, what you'll see is like, pretty much like an oval loop, right? So it'll just go around an oval, like a small oval, like, and you can't wrap it around 
um, your train, uh, your cities, or whatever you want to do, or have more elaborate, you know, train tracks. So most likely you're going to have to buy um, some of these, right? So this is the additional train track pieces. So if you, as you can see here, this thing comes with 20 pieces. Uh, this is Lego City. I don't know. It's 60205. I, I'm guessing this is still in circulation, but it has um, several straight and then several curved. But the important ones, too, are these flexible tracks. These do not come with um, the Disney train track set. So I'm going to show you what these look like. So these ones actually allow you to do the more interesting um, train tracks because, look, a, lot of, a little bit of them turn, right? So if I, I think eight of these come in. Yeah, eight come in the pack. So when you have like this, then now you can actually, oops, you can get them to, to turn. So... Think about that, like, depending on how big you want to go with your train track, um, you're going to have to probably do something like that, right? You're going to have to um, invest in the train tracks and get it to work in such a way that they can turn. So we got that. The negative is the battery life as well. Um, the, the Disney station, again, not really functional. It might be kind of fun to build and display, but it doesn't really fit in with uh, a modular city or however else you want to do it. So in some sense, it's kind of a waste. I mean, you're paying a lot for the package of both the train and the station. And so if you don't can't really use the station too much, then it's not that interesting. But I mean, some of the things that I enjoyed, I mean, it's cool that it's Disney, right? Like you get to see some Disney characters. So that's always nice. And I actually think the train itself looks really nice. Um, the front of the train looks really good. Um, like the engine right but then some of the other stuff still some dings where you know like this one this back cabin you actually have to like pull it up like it's actually not really connected um it doesn't have a hinge to open up which i'm surprised that like, you know the designers could not figure out a way to do that um because it just this feels like you're breaking off a piece of the of the train to do it um now I couldn't compare it to against other ones, but I think something like a passenger train, like Lego City, is probably like 150 bucks, so it's much cheaper. So if you're looking for something like just for the the uh, the train aspect of it, you could probably find something much cheaper. I think there's like even a Hogwarts one now too, um, that could be similarly priced to something like this. So it all depends on what you're looking for, but hopefully, yeah, this um, gave you some information so you can decide whether or not you can go proceed with this. Disney train set or another Lego train set that you're interested in doing. Um, kids were, they love this, you know, for the first, you know, couple of days. But afterwards, unless you have like a super elaborate setup, like even mine is like pretty small compared to what I've seen out there. Um, you, your kids are not going to keep having fun watching a train go around a track forever, especially if the batteries run out so soon. Um, so I think that's it for today's review. Thank you and uh, we'll catch you next time.